All right, let's see if we can get that going. Good morning, everybody. Rob out here, and I'm always in hotwater.com and boats on hotwater.com. I've been out in this storage yard <laughs> since about 8 o'clock this morning. I have uh, three listings I'm working on in here. I had a boat showing and a closing in about an hour, so I guess this is like my own little boat lot. But I have something out here for you to get to the point. Uh, sorry, I'm just it's hot and bright. Hopefully this is translating. I have out here today a 2013 Seafox 216 WA. And it is a clean boat. Uh, generally by the time, you know, any time after or near 10 years or so on and so forth, you know, uh, these boats, I get them and they're, they're dilapidated. They've been beat on pretty good. Um, and they wouldn't run rough and hard, especially when you get into these uh, boats that can, you know, family and fishing, because uh, it's a good combo of that. But this boat is particularly very clean. Uh, it's run with a 150 Yamaha, which is a 2014 model. So my guess is it wasn't put into service till 2014. It's a 2012 trailer uh, that honestly is in very nice shape with a brand new braking system uh, that was put on it two years ago and barely used. So you guys can almost see right here. Uh, so we'll start there. As far as the trailer goes, you got some neat old bunch oh, bunk slides, Ford, uh, torsion axle, you know, aluminum trailer, uh, just, you know, in nice shape. Tires are in nice shape. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, I haven't hooked up to it, but based on uh, the seller's what appears to be OCD maintenance, I would assume they work. But let's not assume. And spare tire, and you guys can see overall pretty good. In addition, there's a couple of pictures up. I didn't take it all the way off. Um, it, just because it makes it so much easier for me to get this put back on. But there's pictures with the cover off the front. Uh, a fresh cover. Um, that cover, I don't know if it's brand new or pretty close to it. And also a nice cowling cover. Uh, with it as well that you'll see in the pictures, but not in the video. As far as the exterior hull goes, I really don't have any complaints. Um, you know, I'm not a surveyor, obviously, or a marine mechanic, but I see enough boats. You know, I'm not really looking at nicks and scratches, uh, you know, minor scuffs at most. All I could really say is when you get into this type of color, see, I couldn't see it with the, when the sun wasn't out. But you can see this gray is infamous for, especially when it, if it sits out in the sun um, a lot. Now, this boat has a cover on it. It will fade. Now, it looks like there might have been a little rub out there. Um, what I'm saying is you have to maintain this, um, you know, by at least waxing it once a year. You know, the white as well, so you don't get chalking. But if you could see... You know, it's got a little bit of fading, so you're due to do that. So just kind of keep that in mind. You're going to get, you know, a little bit of elbow grease or, you know, hire somebody to do it. You'd be surprised out there. Some guys, you know, car guys uh, come mobile, come to your home. Uh, they'll shine this boat up real nice. You know, as far as the interior part of the boat goes, uh, we don't have any issues there. But I think the exterior could probably use a little bit of touch up. Uh, but that's on you. So decaling, everything's in good shape. Uh, as you guys can see, the 150, the cowling looks like brand new. Uh, maybe this cover's been on for a while and just well kept up. Props in nice shape. Uh, trim tabs on this boat. These are Bennett trim tabs. So uh, keep that in mind. And also, if you can notice there, uh, that Bennett, uh, that was replaced just a few years back, is newer to that one. Uh, as told to me by the seller, obviously I haven't had a boat on the water. This is, uh, you have a, a, you know, a 99% of everything working on the boat. Your LED lights, he bought this boat at 140 hours. All right, the LED lights weren't working then and they are not working now. And the speedometer is not working, but you're fresh on speedometer on your GPS. Those are the two items that I've been told. And now I'll give my assessment. Just look, guys, let me crawl up in here. Overall clean boat. I think it's going to make somebody really happy. Uh, you do have a real nice mix of fishing and family. 
So if you can see, I'm gonna kind of walk on in. Those of you know that just I got over the COVID and the coma and the whole nine yards. It's the first day I've been out in the heat for more than three or four hours and it's definitely starting to get to me a little bit. But, all right, there we go there. Now, as far as you guys can see here, uh, upholstery is in very nice shape. I don't have any complaints there either. I haven't found any nick scratches on the exterior of the hull. All I found here was up on the side bolster right here. Got a little... Oh, you know what that is? That's that clip you clip on. It's actually maybe somebody stepped on this and it kind of came out right there. Let's just check the other side real quick. I didn't really... No, we're good here. All right. So overall, you're real nice on the upholstery. Plenty of room. This boat uh, hails with... Uh, this is over here should be raw water and you can see that the customer has the seller has uh, ID'd everything nicely fresh water fresh water hose uh, you have a two battery packs uh, I have pictures up on the batteries this battery here I think is fresh uh, or within recent years or year and this battery in here is a 2015 so I'm gonna recommend that uh, as you move on in your life with the boat that you uh, change that out. It's an interstate, but still, there's your live well, a couple of rod holders. Uh, just so you know, these slide right in and out, and they also snap, so that's kind of nice. These snap in, and four, these slide out for your walkthrough, uh, as far as your days at the sandbar and so on and so forth. You do have a forward anchor, and I thought I saw uh, was it this boat? No, it was another boat. Uh, forward anchor on the boat. Obviously, it's sandbar. You want to do two anchors, one forward, one stern. It's walked up through the deck forward area. I actually have a picture of the anchor forward step uh, on by the dome everywhere you could go. No soft spots, um, you know, to my professional knowledge. What's nice about this boat is also for children. Uh, you have this bow rail providing the safety, which is important. Give you that kind of peace of mind when they're up there tooling around. And also, uh, might as well get this over with down here. Down here in this area, this is actually, uh, this is what I meant by, uh, by the time I see these vessels. You know, you're talking 2013, it's 2022. Uh, you only have 210 hours on this boat, I get it. But still, these boats sit out, they get moisture built up, mold, all sorts of things. Just giving you guys a little more than just my talking and my salesmanship. But all I really do is I just point out the obvious. It's bimini's and this is a nice little touch, this bimini, uh, to give you that shade, but boy, it's hot. And actually, this strap goes here. Um, I got to pull it all the way down to get there or adjust it. I just didn't do it. Just so you know, the strap is there. And down in this area is what I was talking about. Usually, it is just disgusting um, when you get down into these cabins. And, um, man, she smells good. And what's, I'm taking a look, if you guys see around here, no leaks, no mold. Um, you know, up around your little windows, things that surveyors would look at. And your cushions and upholstery and this is all original. This has not been replaced, which shows you to the care of the vessel is like brand new, including the interior cabin. So this is great. You know, your kids are cranky. Give them a snack. Send them in here. Tell them to go take a nap. Um, open up the top. Get some breeze going through, and you're set to go. As far as the rest of the boat goes, also you're clean. Now I would see here. That would be where a porta potty would go. Um, obviously, you know, it's not on board, so we're going to assume it doesn't exist. But you can pick one of those up um, in West Marine. There's your table. And let me just step up. All right, uh, passenger seating in the helm area. No complaints. This is the first time, too, I've seen. This is going to grab on, you know, when people take off. Um, that's a nice little touch right there. Same thing over here. And as far as this seating goes, no complaints. You're pretty clean. You got a little bit, oh, you got a little bit stitching coming up. So stitch that up quick so it doesn't continue. Good there, good there. Uh, let's take a look here. You know, you don't have digital gauges. 
Uh, for some people, you know, that's a little bit of a bummer, but uh, the fact of the matter is your fuel gauge works. RPM uh, is going to have to work. I assume it does. Uh, your miles per hour gauge does not work. As we know, those little... Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we know we're just clogged up on the Speedo cable and charging, working VHF, uh, a fresh Echomap uh, 70S working, obviously, and you guys can hear the stereo. And we are... Let's... Bob 106.9 WUBB Bluffton The Bobby Bones Show in the morning Okay Favorite country music all day You are I'm not a big stereo guy But There you go It works Yamaha Remote Center And also You know Nav builds Air Raider Fresh water Courtesy lights uh, Raw water Accessories And oh Let's check Nah the odds of this working are Let's see Here we go The horn Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a rarity. People that know boats know that that is a rarity. So anyway, there you go. Uh, 2013 Sea Fox 216WA. The it, this boat was purchased at a hundred with a, they purchased it with 140 hours. It just had a full service, which I have the service report from Matthews Marine, who are right here. Uh, they did a complete uh, walk through the boat, checking through switches and flipping. Uh, being that the boat was going to go up for sale, the service was done at 208 hours, and the seller has taken the boat out for about two hours since then. So we're going to call it 210 hours. Services are up to date, trailer is up to date, everything is up to date, and let's see what we can do to get this beautiful boat sold because it is. It's in nice shape. Uh, last but not least, uh, I got this one already open. You basically. Cooler storage, uh, port and starboard side. And keep in mind, like I said, the LED lights underneath uh, on the outside of the hull never worked. So I wouldn't bother with that. That's probably under the accessory switch. And on your port side here, uh, that battery is a 2015, will be due to replace. And I do recommend, uh, you know, you get some elbow grease out with that. Let's see what we got here. Elbow grease out with that wax. Oh, no, that was just a cushion. I thought I saw a little chip. So that'll do it. Anyway, 2013 Sea Fox 216 WA, which they call a Voyager, I think. Uh, Yamaha F-150 and a 2012 trailer. Uh, brand new braking system. No, not brand new, but pretty new. So, Rob and I'm always in hotwater.com. Uh, I'm going to close it out and uh, move on to the next boat. Have a great day. Be safe out there in the water.